What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am Kyra and I am coming to you. Why am I so overly animated? I don't know. I'm coming to you guys with another video about Arizona. I want to talk to you guys about moving to Arizona from another state and finding decent areas to live in. I... Where's my phone? I, um... When I came out here, I stayed with my sister for a few months and I kind of drove around trying to figure out what parts of the city, not of Arizona because that's the state, Phoenix, um, or the surrounding cities I wanted to live in. I went to Tempe, um, Glendale, ended up in Phoenix, and South Mountain is South South Mountain is the south part of Phoenix, North Mountain is the north part of Phoenix, and I live in North Phoenix right now. Um, and I would definitely say that area, the, the area that I live in is pretty peaceful. Um, it's not a lot of stuff going on, but honestly, I don't feel like it's usually a lot of stuff going on in Phoenix anyway. I have two cousins that live close in the bad areas of Phoenix. Um, and it's usually not too much going on. I think the biggest issue with Phoenix is on the, that area that is labeled the bad area is that there are a lot of addicts in those areas so it's close and it's the lower numbers this is what i'm told and this is what i'm telling you guys the lower the numbers the worse the area so if you're in zero to i was about to say zero to 100 <laughs> if you're in zero to like so zero is central or adams i believe that's the cross street so if you are I'm your tool guy without actually being your tool guy because I know a lot of y'all probably have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. But you all have those zero points in your um in your city in your in your city. So you have especially if it's like New York City, Chicago, Detroit, like I'm sure all of you have the to the point where it's zero out and then it's north, south, east, west. So the zero point is central in Adams. I know it's central, but I don't know if it's Adams. I believe it's Adams out here. Um and what I would definitely say is so when you get from that zero point going out of the downtown central Phoenix area when you are let's say 27 through from 20 from zero point to about 60 70 in the city um, in the 60s and the 70s in the city it's, it starts to get better 70 on um versus like 50s and lower so between it starts to have this gradient mesh effect from 50 to 70 so um i would definitely say kind of stay out of those areas if that's what you're looking at um and you're like ah, i kind of want to live in a really safe neighborhood compared to chicago i feel like it's pretty quiet everywhere out here so but if you're from here or a place similar you may feel like okay well I don't really want to be over there because it's too too much stuff going on over there which is usually drug activity so that's probably the biggest thing um like i said in the previous video i think the biggest thing that i hear about on on the news is car accidents and domestic issues domestic crimes out here um people fighting and then somebody gets shot because they're arguing not someone's walking down the street and they get shot because they're just walking down the street and someone decides to just start shooting out the window of the car there's a major difference um so i would say the areas north phoenix you have north mountain you have deer valley those are pretty quiet very quiet neighborhoods neighbor um areas deer valley is a little bit more expensive than north mountain north mountain does have a lot of a lot of different communities so i could try if you guys are interested in moving to north phoenix i could try and go look at some other apartment complex out here and then, of course, once I get some a little bit more free time, if I'm in the area uh, of South Phoenix or South Mountain, I could go look at some apartments out there as well. Probably if I'm able to record and give you guys some tours, I'll be able to do that as well. I did go to South Phoenix. Um, I was told, like, the South Mountain area is, like, really bad. But at the same time, I was looking at the houses because I also talk about finance. And that's something that I want to do is start to invest and purchase some home. I want to purchase a home for myself and I also want to purchase some properties to have so that when I pass my son has something set up for him or my kids future kids or whatever that's another video for another day let me get back on topic <laughs> um so I would definitely say look be mindful of those areas so Indian School Road Camelback um Dunlap 
I was told like Dunlop and 19th area is bad and that's kind of like where the 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 um the amusement park is which is castles and coasters and I mentioned that in another video either one before this or one after um uh let's see those areas because it's a lot more people so it's like of course it's more people it might be more crime more, more issues versus when it's a little less it's less people less people less traffic is less issues right um but the thing about the north mountain or north northern phoenix is not to me it's not a lot of stuff that's going on there's a lot more stuff in south phoenix or the suburbs that surround south phoenix like mesa tempe there's a lot more stuff that goes on in those areas than it does in north phoenix um let me see what else what else what else what i actually did for those who are interested in really trying to figure out what the crime is and how saturated the crime areas are. When I was on Trulia, when I was looking for apartments, of course, you want to make sure you are in your price range and all of that stuff. And I'm actually going to, actually, actually going to be talking about relocating on a budget from one place to another place. Because that's what I had to do um, in another video. Ah, I got some videos for y'all. I got some videos for y'all. <laughs> so... What I did was when I was looking at the apartments in the areas that I was interested in, I always did the crime map. So I also did the schools, of course, but I always did the crime maps. Um, I wasn't too, too fixated on the schools because I know that Arizona is a choice state when it comes to school. Um, it's a choice state when it comes to school, so you can you don't have to live in the district that your child goes to school in. You just have to be able to be accepted into the school and submit your information for open enrollment and register in time to go to school. Um, so another thing that I would definitely say that I did that, that's something that I did as well. Um, there is a guy who does actually does tour. He knows, he knows more because he's been here for like a year, five years. I don't know how long he's been here, but he's been here for quite some time. Um, so I will link his channel below because I, I watch his videos as well. Um, so he, or one of his videos, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I don't go out as much, but from just me passing places, I was told the Dunlop and 19th area is not the best area. Um, so kind of like closer to the central area. This is a thing that you can do. If you come out here and you visit while you're driving on the expressway, and I would say the 10, while you're driving on the expressway or the 17, Look at how and when the traffic trickles down. Because when you're driving on the express, on the e-way out here, at a certain point, the traffic frees up. It's not, and it's not like it was an accident. Well, sometimes it is an accident, but when there is no accident and it's just kind of like real congested traffic and then it just opens up, then you'll see kind of like where you should probably t turn, turn off and just take a tour of the area because those are more than likely the areas that has less people because not as many people are going over there with their vehicles, right? But what I did find was the higher the number, the better the area. Um, but at the same time, the higher the number, better the area that may also mean that you may have to pay more to live in the area. So what another thing that I did was I went on Truly, I went on Apartment List. I also went on Zillow. And then the last thing that I did was I Googled air places. So if I was on Trulia and I saw like an, an apartment complex, I was like, okay, this is cool. I will also Google it just to see the Google reviews. But another thing that Google does is they suggest, because you know, these internets, how they be working, they suggest other um, communities that are either similar or in the area of the place that you have the apartment, the, the apartment that you just Google, right? So that that's another thing that I would do. It's kind of like look at people reviews of not only the community because people not don't just com people don't just review the communities. They also compute com they also review the neighborhoods or the areas that the communities are in, the complexes or whatever you want to call call it. Um so that's another thing that I would definitely say. Some places that I feel if if you can afford it Deer Valley is definitely a good quiet area if you're by yourself. You want to just kind of be at peace. Downtown Phoenix, if you can afford it, I would say go for it because I do know somebody that's downtown Phoenix. And it's pretty peaceful down there as well. It's kind of like the outskirts. It's like the, the outskirts of downtown Phoenix that is worse. And then on the outskirts, on the other side. So it's like this parameter, the barrier around outside Phoenix, downtown Phoenix is bad. And then... 
outside of that, it's better, which is kind of weird to me because it's it's completely the opposite of where I'm from. It's like the further away from the city, the worse it is. You get closer to the city, that's when everybody is because it costs more. So, hello. Um, and it's like when you when you have to pay a lot more money for stuff, you take better care of it. That's just how it works for some reason. But um, which makes sense. But yeah, the, the, for now, that's all I could think of right now. I will link the information below. Trulia website, Zillow, Apartment List. Um, you can also reach out to some realtors. I believe, oh crap, I forgot. The, I think it's Valley, Valley Realtors, East Valley Realtors or something like that. I remember it was a couple of people. But of course, while you're doing your Google search, you can definitely find some Valley people out here that are in the valley and also call around before you leave if there are some places that you think that you feel like you will be interested in um living in complex communities out here that you want to try and see that you want to live in um or you're interested in you can call those places and you can also ask them, ask the representative or ask the leasing agent how, not the complex itself, but how the, the neighborhood is. Is it nice? Is it, is it not nice? And another thing that I would definitely say, watch out for living close to the mountains. There are mountains everywhere out here and I don't live too far from some mountains. But from my understanding, if you live on a mountain, you more than likely are going to be getting all the bugs because that's where scorpions and roaches and spiders, that's where they all live. So unless you have really, really great pesticide, you want to be mindful of that as well. Just, just letting y'all know that that's that's pretty much it. But yeah, if I have any more information about finding apartments out here, if you have any questions about any apartment complexes out here, I'm going to be possibly taking some tours. So link below if you're interested. I don't know how soon I will be able to do that. Just let me know, um, and I'll probably reach out to you. Say hey, you know, I'm maybe maybe just maybe um if i can make it because of course if i'm driving i will be use my gas but at the same time i do plan on doing some tours or possibly going to look at some apartments just so not only for you guys because if i'm interested in moving as well it'll benefit me too right um but yeah so again i want to tell you guys a few areas that i don't think is too bad um tempe mesa mesa i get mesa gets some bad rap I'm not sure about Mesa because I I actually take my son to go get his haircut out there in Mesa, um, which is from about 35 minutes from where I'm for where from where I am because there I've been looking. I'm like, uh uh, nope, you not nobody's cutting his hair, not up here. No, I'll take him down south. Okay, um, so that's where he gets his haircut, and it's actually driving around is not too bad, but at the same time, which is my favorite phrase, right? At the same time, I don't live there, so I can't really say exactly how it is. Um, I do know they have, if you have, if you're looking to relocate with any housing assistance, I do know when I had my housing assistance, because when I moved out here, I did have it, but I ended up losing it. Um, long story, um, but either way, I'm still good. Um, if you have housing assistance, it is a lot easier to find it in Mesa, and I believe Phoenix some Tempe definitely channel is out of the question because they don't take it out there or Gilbert they, they it's a diamond in the rough to find like if that's something that you're interested in or you're relocating with any housing assistance um they do accept it out here but you have to be very particular um not particular but you have to be cautious because of course you don't want to waste your time trying to find an apartment and end up losing the assistance that you need at least whenever you need it um so yeah, that's pretty much it. Any information that I forgot, I will definitely link in some realtors below. I will also link some um, apartment complexes below and some of the neighborhoods below. I would definitely say North Mountain. If you're looking to live north away from everything, you will have to travel to a lot of the events, which is if you're fine with that, that's great. But if you just want somewhere that you, that you can call home that's really quiet and peaceful, uh, I would say the North Valley is pretty cool. Northwest is pretty good. Um, northeast, anything north will probably be fairly decent. Um, 
it's not a lot of stuff going on up here so if you kind of just want to chill just relax and don't be bothered by anybody i would say north and then further out to the burbs probably avondale tallison area um chandler tempe and gilbert are pretty pretty expensive for me if you can put the bill then go right on ahead um but that's pretty much it. Scottsdale, everybody tell me to avoid Scottsdale because it's not Scottsdale, which I understand. Scottsdale, come on now. That's where all the rich people live. Um, and then there's Old Scottsdale. But Old Scottsdale is more of like the the hub for entertainment from what I'm hearing. So at some point I might move, go over there and let you guys see what's going on over there. But that's pretty much it. I will link a couple of communities down below that you may be interested in checking out some communities now i would definitely say the rents have been going up since i've been out here when i i was suggested one of my co-workers told me to go check out a place in south phoenix which is like really affordable but when i got there it was not not more than what i was expecting um so i don't know but i will definitely try to um give you guys as much information down below as i possibly can anything that i forgot or missed out on below make sure you keep those tips in mind about when you're here about the areas like outside of central phoenix the the smaller numbers 27 to 50 maybe you probably want to avoid those areas and and it's different because like if you're on 7th street or avenue and you go all the way up north it's it's a lot less it's a lot less traffic so it's a lot less so it really kind of depends on like if it's just in those the low numbers either way then you kind of want you probably want to avoid those avoid those areas um just depending on how peaceful you how where you come from and how peaceful it is my cousins that like i said they live in those areas and to me it's not really bad it's pretty quiet no one messes with them nobody messes with me while i'm over there but if you kind of just want to be a little bit more peaceful then that's probably what you want to do is kind of just be mindful of those lower numbers, which is crazy because that's what everybody says out here. And that's actually what I noticed about just the differences in the neighborhood. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like I've rambled enough and I've kept your time enough. So please make sure you comment below any questions that you may have about Phoenix or even about finance. Because I also, shameless plug, I also talk about finances because... I am trying to get out of debt and I'm trying to build my assets and build my network um, and just build my financial freedom and be financial free. So you can check out my videos about this right here and make sure you subscribe and click that right there if you haven't subscribed already. If you have, thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't, I don't know what you're doing. You just stop playing and just go on and click the freaking subscribe button. I just turned to my sister. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.